Welcome back everybody to the Joe PK channel after what I know has been a very very long wait I'm very very sorry about the lack of videos I've been very busy with an expanding family and a new job but finally I'm going out diving I'm filming everything today I've got the cameras I'm diving with the Frenchman uh, Mark Tilly he's also brought his big camera so we're gonna get some photos and Reese Niverton as well not sure what we're going to see today we're going basically off the most western point of britain land's end we're looking in the kelp very very excited keep it tight not too tight so it's always going to make it turn but just tight all the way so it's going to hook into the wallet yeah. Do it. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some nice fish. <laughs> good conditions. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting some good shots today. We got some nice pictures with uh, Joe last time we were out. Um, and uh, I've fallen on my feet because I seem to have found all these really cool people with boats. So I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> <laughs> treacherous here, yeah. extremely rough. This is all caused by the tide, uh, the flow of the water being coming over a pinch point and you would not want to be out here on a rough day. It gets absolutely savage. It's almost impossible to control your boat through here on a rough day. Land's end right there. The hunting grounds over there. Yeah, nice pinnacles in here and calmer water. Hopefully the fish are have ducked in here out of the tide. We're going to have a look. Say hund. What's the bird on the just on the near the seagull on the right? Oh, is that a um, oyster catcher? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, the noisiest bird in the world. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a bit snug with a 7mm. It's, it's Oh yeah, it's lovely, clear. Land's End could be my favourite place to dive and what better way than to have Mark filming this event with a proper underwater camera. Absolute beauty. Perfect for the whole, you know, like a 
could bake it for the whole family, you know? I see it's four or five people. You've got to love a Cornish product, right? Absolutely. And there's some belters down here as well. I mean, the previous one must have been twice the size. So hopefully we'll get a big one next. Boys, how was it mate? Yeah, good. First oh, Pollock. First Pollock. There it is. There it is. Happy days. <laughs> awesome. It's right on the top of the pinnacle. It's just yes. Happy days. You must be chuffed with that. Yeah, man. It's nice. It's a beaut. <laughs> My biggest one so far. Happy days. That's what happens on Frenchman tours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going, Mr. Tilly? Good, thanks, man. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That water temperature just dropped off a couple of degrees, but yes. uh, it's yeah. nice. Yeah, really nice, uh, really nice ground. I think uh, we're all sort of saying the uh, the height of the kelp off the uh, rock itself is yeah. really haven't seen a call like that yeah, in, uh, in yeah. a lot of places, so it's really nice to dive. And what I noticed that's really interesting is we came in as soon as we hit that sort of 12 meter mark, as we progressed out of this cove, we started to see more and more fish. Like Pollock were coming in as soon as we got 12, 13, 15 meters, plenty of Pollock good generally sort of five pound fish really good table fish we head to a new spot yep. oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh this too oh, oh, oh my god <laughs> look at the, 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 the little fish jumping oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah look wow oh, guys they're going off the garfish going off to the garfish okay. look at the seagulls jesus Oh Woo! my god! Wow. Wow. This, um, wow. wow. this is just amazing. Witnessing these incredible fish hunt a helpless shoal of garfish in shallow water was a truly remarkable sight. Big predators at work. It's like effortless as well, isn't it? If you... Oh, man. oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. These these fish are like 200 pound. No, they are they're 100 kilo, 150 kilo, easy. These poor garfish were actually hiding under the boat to escape these mighty predators. It was now Max's and Mark's turn to dive the next spot, a pinnacle a few hundred metres offshore. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Not a very good shot. It was sticking away. Yeah, yeah. Any any friends down there? Uh, no, he was alone. He was alone. But on the on the reef there is a few. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll go. And eat. Bad as well. You can do a few more dives. Yeah, just got a couple of dives, and then after I jump back. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll go and see how Mark's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, right? Yes, mate. That, that's fish I was looking for. Them, that's so. a belter. That's a. Uh, yeah, I was getting a little frustrated, seen some good fish and uh, kept waiting, waiting. I've only taken one shot all day. Uh, 
I clipped it pretty nice, came straight out at the exit. Oh, lovely. The cheek, so. Yeah, yeah I was stoked. Beauty. It's a very nice. Yeah. That's a beauty. Was he up in the kelp? Was he in the kelp, like on the reef, uh, or was he off the side? Cruising in the top, there was like a kind of little bowl in the top of the pinnacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was down in the kelp and uh, just hanging, so. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I was up 125. Yeah. The I've, longest I've done today is a 140, so. Beauty. Excellent. Lovely fish. So they're stacking up nicely here. He doesn't just shoot photos, this guy. Once again, it was my turn to jump in, and I was greeted by a rather impressive sight. At this time of year, mullet begin aggregating for spawning, and many giant shoals like this can be found around the coast over winter. We were just diving this uh, channel in between two rocks and there was an incredible amount of life. Um, schools of mullet, literally hundreds if not thousands of mullet. You could barely see through them. And um, below the schools, had a nice bass come through. I uh, waited for this bass. Um, decided to take a mullet too, home because they're quite delicious out here. There's not many rivers or estuaries, so they tend to taste really good. 
and yeah alarm bells were ringing because this bass wasn't very far away when I shot it and the spear just pricked halfway through it. You could see in the footage, I had to chase after it and push the spear through. And then unfortunately, I lost a gilt head bream for the same reason. The spear just pricked it. I chased it down and uh, a bit heartbreaking really because it's my favorite eating fish. And the reason was today I tried this uh, cheaper extruded rubber, the black rubber and it definitely didn't give anywhere near as much power as my normal uh, green rubber. This is the dipped rubber, which I usually use. So think about the rubber you're gonna use. If it's, you know, good visibility, you're using a 90s, it's probably worth getting the dipped rubber because um, I've never had that problem before with this stuff. This was definitely lacking power. It's maybe a smoother release of a spear, but it was not giving the, the penetration I needed. So there we go. It's all about learning, really. Um, every single time you go out diving, you learn. I like to try new things, new gear, but sometimes, you know, uh, it doesn't work out. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 Mate. I interrupt you. All. No, no, this is, this is good. Just keep it rolling. I just, just better be mm. a big one, aren't I? <laughs> They've all been big, Joe. <laughs> I can tell it. Oh, it's a cod. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Mark it, he says. Mark it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> On camera. That's ridiculous. Wait, hold it up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! What a beauty! Why are we not seeing them when we're in the water? Well, this one is tw 28 meters. <laughs> right, get the extra weight on, let's go, give me a rock! With yet another species added to the catch bag, it was time to head home, escorted by hundreds of dolphins. Reaching. It's like a super pod, isn't yeah, it's it? it's a super pod, yeah. Massive. Dolphins everywhere. Look at the light. <laughs> got it? Just firing shots at high speed. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being a professional photographer, Mark got this amazing footage on his camera. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the dolphins communicating with each other. So that's all for this video everybody, uh, thank you very very much for watching, as always please do leave a comment and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be making more regular videos again now, I've got a bit more time so instead of sort of doing you know lots of trips in one video, I'm going back to my old format of doing a video per trip. Videos is what I love doing and I've now got more time to be doing these videos so I'm very very excited. I've already got a couple of adventures to edit down and put on the channel, so, so do stay tuned. JPK channel is back. Thank you very much for watching again. See you on the next one.